Hi, I'm Jane Reinhardt from Kansas City, Missouri, Mid-Continent Library, where I'm on the Board of Directors. And the book I selected is Animal Farm, which I thought everybody read, and I couldn't imagine why they would ban this book, but I imagine that there are certain people that don't like the governmental philosophy that might be included in Animal Farm. And as I used to tell my students when I taught, the day they start banning books is the day you probably need to get a passport and go someplace else. Animal Farm by George Orwell. What's going to happen to all that milk? Said someone. Jones used sometimes to make some of it our mash, said one of the hands. Never mind the milk, comrades, cried Napoleon, placing himself in front of the buckets. That will be attended to. The harvest is more important. Comrade Snowball will lead the way. I shall follow in a few minutes. Forward, comrades, the hay is waiting. And so the animals trooped down to the hay field to begin the harvest. And when they came back in the evening, it was noticed that the milk had disappeared. Chapter 3. How they toiled and sweated to get the hay in. But their efforts were rewarded. For the harvest was even bigger success than they had hoped. And sometimes the work was hard. The implements had been designed for human beings and not for animals, and it was a great drawback that no animal was able to use any tool that involved standing on his hind legs. But the pigs were so clever that they could think of a way around every difficulty. As for the horses, they knew every inch of the field and in fact understood the business of mowing and raking far better than Jones and his men had ever done. The pigs did not actually work, but directed and supervised the others. With their superior knowledge, it was natural that they should assume leadership. Boxer and Clover would harness themselves to the cutter or the horse rake. No bits or reins were needed in those days, of course, and tramped steadily round and round the field, while a pig walked behind and called up, Gee up, comrade, or whoa back, comrade, as the case might be. And every animal, down to the humblest, worked at turning the hay and gathering it. And even the ducks and hens toil to and fro all day in the sun, carrying tiny wisps of hay in their beaks. At the end, they finished the Harvard in two days less time than it had even taken Jones.